Uh, my name is Matt Evans. I work here at the National Zoo. I'm the supervisory biologist for the reptile house. We're currently standing in the basement of the reptile house. This room is dedicated specifically to the breeding and propagation of Panamanian golden frogs. Our normal routine every day would be to check on the animals, check on the water quality, temperature, misting, feeding, uh, that kind of thing. All happens in this room. Panamanian golden frogs are endemic to uh, the central portion of Panama, and right now, currently, we, we view them as functionally extinct. There's not enough um, to keep the population ongoing. So if they're not extinct, they will, they will go extinct uh, relatively soon. So that's kind of where that term functionally extinct comes from. These guys are very delicate. The husbandry required to take care of them is, is kind of specialized. They're susceptible to lack of UV. They need calcium. Uh, humidity is very important. Uh, figuring out how to breed them takes a lot of work. We currently just got a new breeding recommendation to breed our first F2 generation. So what you're looking at behind me right here are our F1 generations, the offspring of the wild-caught adults that were bred in 2005. So currently we're gonna start this year to breed these guys. So uh, we are uh, one of the larger breeding institutions in the United States for Panamanian golden frogs. I think they're an absolutely beautiful frog and, and the fact that they're going extinct because of habitat loss and amphibian chytrid fungus, um, that really motivates me to want to, to do something to help. So it's a combination of all those things that kind of really gets me psyched up about Panamanian golden frogs. It definitely is a privilege and, and, and an honor to work with an endangered species, especially one that's uh, associated with a species survival plan. I mean, you feel like you're actually, you know, doing something to, to help the species. So it's a, it makes you feel good, like you're a part of something. At Olympus of Tech, I do actually make a call. It's a very low call. It's really hard to hear, especially because the habitat that they're, which they're found in, the streams are just really loud. The frogs can't really can't hear each other. The males are always on the lookout for females. They'll be calling, but then they do, they have a ritual. Um, because it's really loud and because the females really can't hear the males advertising, they do a, they do a hand waving technique. It's really cute. Um, so the males will sit there and they'll advertise and they'll wave their hand back and forth. And it's uh, really, it's really, really interesting, really neat.